Aloha, I am Reg Baker, host of Business in Hawaii for Think Tech Hawaii. Ever since I was the COO and CFO for HMAA, one of the largest health insurance companies in Hawaii, I've been following the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. It was widely accepted in the healthcare industry that we did not need nor want the Affordable Care Act. This was especially true in Hawaii due to the prepaid health care act that was passed over 25 years ago. Many felt that the Affordable Care Act was just another step in the direction of nationalizing the healthcare industry, which has been proven to be a failure in every country that had ever attempted nationalized health care. Flash forward to today, and we find many of the earlier concerns are coming true in health care. Premiums continue to increase at double digit rates. California just announced on Tuesday another 13% increase in premiums. Hawaii has experienced similar rate increases and very large losses by our local medical insurance companies. We have already lost one local medical insurance company, Family Health, and the mainland has seen record high failures and consolidations. The only way for smaller medical insurance companies to survive under the Affordable Care Act is to merge with larger companies, obtain economies of scale, and larger risk pools of customers. This, been, this has been happening at an alarming rate and has caught the attention of the U.S. Department of Justice. This week, the DOJ announced that they will be cracking down on these medical insurance mergers and acquisitions, claiming that they are unacceptable. The U.S. healthcare industry was one of the best in the world. We led the world in setting the bar very high for quality of care, access to care, innovation, research, and education. It is so sad and very scary to see how the Affordable Care Act has disrupted the best health care system in the world to one that is fighting to survive with record bankruptcies, record levels of mergers and consolidations resulting in dwindling medical insurance companies, physicians retiring faster than when we can replace them because of the challenges current providers face and constant regulatory interference. If the plan of Obamacare, like many projected, was to create a single payer system, which is another word for nationalized health care, then we are clearly moving in that very scary direction. Let's hope that it is not too late to save the U.S. health care system that was once the best the world had ever seen. Aloha.